You have spent hours reading your textbooks and you are getting to the end of the chapter. And suddenly you realize, oh my gosh, I can't remember what I read. And then you go back and start all over again. Reading a textbook without a strategy is a waste of time. To make information stick, you have to study smart. Here's a great solution to remember what you read, the PQ4R method. It was introduced by an American education philosopher, Francis Robinson, and then adopted by many educators and learners around the world. PQ4R represents preview, question, read, respond, recall, and review, and I'll walk you through it. One, preview. When you get a textbook, read a table of contents to have a general idea about the material. Next, read the introduction. Scan the titles and subheadings, glance the pictures, charts, or graphs. Read the chapter summary. This helps you know what the chapter is about. Two, question. Before reading the text, create some questions based on what you see. Let the questions guide your reading. You can turn each title or graph into a question. Write down the questions on a piece of paper. Here comes a very important part. It's actually more effective to test yourself with these questions before you read. What if you get the answers wrong? No worries, this helps you learn in the long run. There's a thing called the hypercorrection effect. It states that the more confident a learner is of their wrong answer, the better the information sticks when they learn the right answer later. So, making mistakes can bring about better learning results. 3. Read you may now begin to read the chapter, spend a little more time on the main ideas which often appear in the first sentence of each paragraph. As you read, think about your questions and try to find the answers. Highlight the most important parts of the text, take notes in the margin or notebook. 4. Reflect This step involves critical thinking. If you don't analyze the information, you'll never store it in your long-term memory. Ask yourself, what new information did you learn? How does new information connect with what you already know? How can you use it in your real life? It's really important to relate new information to old information so that a knowledge system can be built. 5. Recite At this point, think about your materials and read your notes, and then output what you learned. You can use the Feynman technique. We've talked about this before. It's based on the idea that if you truly understand something, you should be able to explain it. Now, write down what you remember. Pretend you are teaching this to someone else, like what I'm doing right now. What kind of questions would your student ask? How would you answer all of them? If there's anything you're still confused about, go back to the original material and your notes. This process reinforces your memory and leads to deep learning. Six, review. You know, human beings are so good at forgetting, so you have to review your notes regularly. Based on Emmy House's forgetting curve, the best review schedule may look like this. Once you've finished reading your notes, ask yourself questions. See if you can recall the key information. Alright, no matter what kind of reading materials you are dealing with, use the PQ4R strategy. It helps you retain information effectively. Thanks for watching. I'm Xiaoming Ma. See you next time. Love you.